Hey everyone, today we are going to discuss about NTP server configuration. Before we done already NTP server, already we discuss and we done some lab. But the lab which we done in our previous class, we done without authentication. Now we are going to do with authentication. First of all, let me revise what is NTP. You need to remember NTP is nothing but network time protocol. NTP is nothing but network time protocol. We have NTP server in our organization. And what is the role of the NTP server? NTP server is going to give the time to our device. If you have a lot of device in your network and you need to get the time, because time is very important, all the device should synchronize the same time. If different device is having different time, then you will have the issue for troubleshooting and also some protocol is having the issue also if we are having some different time. So better all the device should have the same time. So what we will do, we will use the NTP server. So let's do that lab. If you see this is a server I am taking. I can give the name of this server as a NTP. You can write in this place. We can say this is a label NTP. I am giving and we can put IP. Here I will give the IP as 192.168.1.2 or 1.1 okay this one just i am giving the label by seeing we know that this is the ntp server and this server is going to have the ip 1.1 how we are going to assign the ip click this server go to the desktop click the ip config right here the ip whatever you want example we told we will use 1.1 and assume we have our gateway as 192.168.1.100 okay gateway is 1.100 and this is a 1.1 is a IP and this is a subnet mask of the NTP server. Now I need to enable the NTP server so I will go to the services then go to NTP and if you see already it is enabled. If you want to restart the service just put off and then put on. After that if you see here authentication is disabled here. Okay if you check here what I uh, what I am saying this one by default is disable. You need to enable and give here some key and put the password. This key and password we need to remember whatever device we are going to configure the NTP. Example you have one router you want to configure here. So this router should get the time from the NTP server. So you need to put this key and the password. So we need to remember whatever key we are giving. Okay and whatever the password we are giving. So let Let's enable. I will go. I will enable now. And here key you can give any number. Example, I will give 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. And 1, 0. 1, 0 it will not take. So let me give till 1, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Okay. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 we can take. And here you can give anything. A, B, C I am giving. So this is the key and this is a password. You need to remember this both. That's all. If you want to restart, just press this and press on and we enable the authentication and here you assign the key and the password. This is only the basic configuration. After that, take the router or switch, whatever device you have. Example, if you want to assign the time or you need to synchronize your device with this server time, I will take the router. If you want to take switch, you can take switch also and router label I will give R1. And here I am going to assign the IP as let me write here label. I will give 192.168.1.100. Okay, I, I will use this one. 1.100. This is the IP we are going to assign to this interface. So let me take the CLI of this router. Okay. And if you see, let me move this here. And this is the CLI of the router. I will write here no. And then let me do the basic configuration. I will go in the enable mode and then I will go in the global configuration and I will change the name as a router one. And then if you see this is the interface fast ethernet zero by zero. So I will go under that interface and I am going to assign the IP address 192.168.1.100. Then give a space write the subnet mask 255.255.255.0. 255.0 and write no shut because by default Cisco router interface is done. So we need to write no shut to make this up. Okay, so this one is okay done our configuration. Now if you want to check, you can write do show clock. Okay, if you see you are getting very old time. 
okay not the accurate time what the server is having if you see if you go inside the server the server is having 8:13 okay 8:14 pm january 23 8:14 pm but if you check here what you are getting here something march 1993 so still it is not working so how we can configure means first we will write ntp server and give the server ip this is our server ip so i will give here 192.168.1.1 without authentication if you are doing this command is sufficient but now if you remember we put the authentication here if i configure only this command if i leave uh, typing after this command it will not synchronize because here if you remember we put the key and the password we enable the authentication so we need to put some more commands here what more command we need to write we need to write here ntp authentication key authentication key okay let me write authentication key and after that whatever the key we give we will write that one i write 1 2 3 4 5 right and after that i am going to use md5 okay then give the value i i wrote abc okay so let me check i write typing mistake i think let me write again ntp authentication okay then key and the key we give as a 1 2 3 4 5 5 and md5 we are using let me write here abc okay so this is a key if you forget check here what we give 1 2 3 4 5 abc here so here i give that one and after that also what we need to give we need to write ntp authentic Authenticate. Okay, we are asking authenticate. After that, we need to define also NTP trusted key. What is trusted key? That is one, two, three, four, five. Okay, whatever trusted key we give, this one. What we have here? We are because you need to tell from which NTP server he should get the time. So, if you have more than one NTP server, if you enable the authentication if you give this one then he is going to get the time from this server so i am saying ntp trusted key 1 2 3 4 5 okay and press enter after that what we will do this same command we need to write and we need to write the key so i will write same command ntp then i will write server and whatever the server ip 192.168.1.1 and give space and after that we are going to write the key and write the key whatever key we give as 1 2 3 4 5 if you are confused here let me show you here i will write here show history here it is showing or let me write show run from here i will copy and paste the configuration what i done for ntp okay see this only this only command what i done no need to worry if you are confused what i am typing here this is very simple you can check here let me zoom in so you can easily read you will write ntp authentication key 1 2 3 4 5 whatever you assign to your server and then message dash s5 that is md5 and this change i wrote abc but now it is in the encrypted form and then ntp authenticate then ntp trusted key whatever key we have in this server here whatever we assign that one and then ntp server whatever the server ip and the key whatever the trusted key that one you will give here that's all after that your device is going to get the time okay let me show you your device will get the time ntp is a slow protocol so we need to wait some time but anyhow if you see now our device is getting the time correct time we are getting year and the month everything is correct so this way we will configure what we will do this way we will configure the ntp with authentication same thing you can do in the switch also okay so this is a configuration if you are confused see this one only some steps not 
lot of steps if you confuse by seeing this one i will change this i give before as a b c okay that's all this is only the configuration i hope it is easy you understand if in case if you face any issue join our telegram channel i will share this there and the configuration everything and even though if you are unable to understand whatsapp us or write in the comments we are going to help you okay thank you